Hey guys, this is Frankie, and I'm going to show you how to make your very own pom pom wolf. Stay tuned! These are the materials you will need. You will need 7.5 millimeter eyes of any color you're choosing, scissors, felting mat with felting needles, a pom pom maker, yarn, fabric tech glue, or any kind of fabric glue of your choosing. And this book is optional and is written by Tricotri. The reason why I say this book is optional is because it's written in Japanese. Now, unless you speak Japanese, then this is a great resource. If you don't speak Japanese, but you're willing to try to translate and transfer and try to figure things out, it has great pictures and I would recommend it. But if you don't want to sit there and try to decipher it or you don't have anyone to help you decipher it, then I hope that this video kind of guides you through on how to make it with or without this book. Now, what I did not have pictured before is the different colors of yarn that I'm using. I'm actually using white, a light gray, and a medium gray, and I'm also using a black yarn to complete this. Now, instead of you watching me wrap all these things over and over, I'm going to put up a diagram, which is going to show you when, like, number one is going to be the light gray. You're going to wrap it around six times, which you saw me doing. Number two is going to be, like, the medium gray. You wrap that around 12 times. Number three is the white yarn. You're going to wrap that around 15 times. And then the diagram also shows you where you should place it along your pom-pom maker. Now here, I'm basically finished wrapping things around following the diagram. And I'm just going to cut this. Now you're going to tie off your pom-pom. So you're going to bring your yarn towards you and tie it once. And then after you tie it, you're going to flip it away from you. And once you flip it away from you, you're going to bring the string towards you and tie it twice. Now we're going to remove the pom-pom from the pom-pom maker. Don't be too worried if some of the strings are longer than each other. You're just going to basically kind of rub it, shape it a little bit, and then you're going to be cutting it anyway. Now here I am starting to cut into the pom-pom to make the shape of the wolf head. I'm also going to put up a diagram from you, uh, from you, for you right now. And this is basically showing you how the wolf head should look front, side, top, and bottom view. The circle around is kind of the circle of your pom-pom and you just kind of cut that wolf to fit those shapes. And again, at any time, if you feel that you need to pause or rewind, feel free to do so. Now here I've taken my black yarn and I'm basically unraveling it so that I can felt it. 
Um, you can, if you don't want to do this step and you just want to go out and buy black uh, wool, that's fine. But for me, I didn't want to go out and buy it when I already had yarn to use. So this is me. I've already taken it apart to where I can kind of felt it. And now I'm getting ready to form it and create the wolf's nose. Now that we've finished the wolf's nose, now it's time to move on to the ears. The book is telling me to go to the back of the book and use an ear shape pattern. If you don't have this book, you could just use a triangular type shape and fit it to the wolf's head because you already made the head. So you can just try to make a little pattern or template to make sure it fits and looks decent in your wolf head. Now I am using like a felting method to do the ears. If you do not want to have a needle and be sticking it a million times what you can do is you can buy felt and you can cut out the shape of the ears and then just glue the inner ear onto the felt and then just glue it into the pom-pom head only reason why I'm not going with that option is because sometimes it gets a little difficult to match exact colors with exact colors so sometimes the color can be off and I would rather have all unified colors so that's why I'm using the same gray and just doing the felting to it. Here I'm attaching the inner ear, I'm using a lighter gray and I'm just felting that on. We have finished with the ears and now it's time to attach them. The pictures in the book look like they were felting them in so this is what I'm doing here. But if you want to, you can just glue the ears in and make sure that it's very secure. Now it's time to place the nose. I'm just going to glue the nose onto the pom-pom wolf. Got to do a little trim trim. Now I'm going to place the eyes in. Before I glue it, I'm just going to place it in and make sure it's kind of where I want it to be before I start gluing it down. And then after that, just use my favorite fabric tack and we will be gluing that bad boy in. Now we have to attach the wolf's mouth. Now I unraveled a few strands from the yarn and I'm basically going to try to stick and felt it in a little bit. If you want to, again, you can also use glue to make sure it's secured down.
And now we're done. At this point in time, if you see any stray yarns or anything you would like to do, clip it. But you're finished. I'm just showing you the different views in the side view. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.